what you think. This year is one of our buoys coming out, and this is a piece of spring still that my grandfather had. I dug this out of his forge site, and uh, it just got it just got all rusted up to pieces. And I did a grind on it, and I was like, "Oh, holy cow!" Underneath all that rust is good metal. So I took all the rust off, burnt it all off, and we forged out this buoy. So one of the many things that comes that comes out of our forge, other than our tools, is knives like these. I love to take and make a few knives every now and then. And I love to test them out. I love to see what these knives are capable of. So coming up, that's what you're going to see. You're going to see my hunting sword that I made up without scales because we don't, if the knife isn't going to hold up to the test, ain't no point finishing it. We get it tempered and then we test it. So coming up, video on that, sit back, enjoy, and let us know what you think of this particular knife and how it performs. Who knows? If we hit, when we hit 500, if, when, maybe, eh, we, I'm going to say when, when we hit our 500 sub, maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll just have a knife giveaway. See what happens. So remember, like, share, subscribe, leave comments. Let us know what you're thinking and how you're, and how you're thinking of our videos. So let us know what you're thinking about this particular one too, especially the test. Enjoy test of the hunting sword i killed my first deer with this sword i haven't got it done um but i've been wanting to do some really destructive tests to it and um yeah piece of a lawnmower blade so there you go let's see what it does i hope you see that so Get it close up. Let's get that stuff out. Effortless. 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 <laughs> Let's go cut something else up. That's good on the back cut. Oh, let's try the edge. There we go. There's the edge. Oh. Okay, now can we get these two together? Let's see. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> Just about. So, when I made this particular sword, I wanted a good machete. I wanted something that would be good to go wood running with. I wanted to be able to just do anything I wanted to. I wanted to be able to skin an animal, finish it off if I had to. I wanted to be able to clear my way through brush and just do just about any bloody thing I wanted to do with this particular knife. Okay. Let's see what this blade will do with this rock. No, I'm not going to. I'm not. That's a fortune and fire test right there, ain't it? It's not what your blade does to the rock. It's what the rock does to your blade. I don't know if you see it or not. There's one spot. I think that happened with one of the last hits on that dried wood.
Out of my way. For the sharpness test? Yeah. Why? We're bringing no bag if you because it's flat. Let's see. Let's do it with the Dr. Wham bottle. I'm glad I stand behind the side of your truck. What it will do, though, is that. <laughs> All right, you gonna chop one up in the air? Chop one up in the air? Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, you're in one? Yeah. Okay, come come right over here. Like that? Yeah. One, uh, man, I think I'm done. Here. I like you there, man. I don't want to hit the phone. Not a problem. I don't know, that Dr. Wayne gave you a lot of problems. Well, where's another Dr. Wayne bottle? <laughs> nice, bro. Nice. Okay. Do what? No air hey, It's it is stabilized wood. It ain't gonna hurt. Dude, that no. Alright, let me get out of your way. Yeah, yeah, get out of the way. It's stabilized wood. That means that that wood is stable. That mean is <laughs> You know what you're gonna make me do? You know what you're gonna make me do? Yeah, you got one for God's sake. <laughs> Sound like you just dropped the thing. I did too. <laughs> Put a little bit of a. Well, let's see. Woo! <laughs> no, I thought. No, I think I thought you over here. No, I hit the bed. Cause it was after I hit the bed. Oh. Uh, good lord. <laughs> but for hitting, but for hitting the bed, it only put a little bit of a roll right there. Yeah. The edge is still sharp. That's not bad. Right, right there is where it hit. Right there. See that little bit of highlight on the edge? Yeah. I wonder why it just did like that. Yeah. But. You know. It's still sharp. I'm just kidding. I'm just you hit it. You're hit it. Didn't do a thing right there. See what's going on while I'm getting the rolls right here? Uh, is when I re when I, I reprofiled this blade just a hair. Yeah. And if you slide down, there's not much of a bevel there. I mean, you know, that that's got a really steep angle on that bevel. It's got you know, so well, I'm trying to look at you trying to this 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 this. See you see how that is? Yeah. That that's like a twenty-five degree angle or so. Twenty to twenty-five degree angle. I need it to be like a, just a little bit more. There's not enough meat behind the edge to keep it from. Rolling. No, no, no. Well you got it. The standing. The freestanding vine. Nothing holding it. Let's see what it does. Ooh.